This is the first video of section 4 on lighting. In this video we will discuss the basic light types as provided by Unity. We will try to create a convincing realistic lighting for our basic scene. Without any type of lights the scene we create will be dark and dull. Lights are required for ambience and a feeling of what time and season it is in our site. In Unity you can toggle the lighting in the scene window. Without any effect of light you can clearly see geometry and materials but everything is flat. However, when we activate the lights toggle at the moment our scene is dark and very dull, as there are no light sources added. We now add a point light from the game object menu. This immediately gives a bright zone where light is emitted. Point lights are the least demanding in real-time projects. They shine equally in all directions, so you only need to concern yourself about their position. We can control range, color and intensity. Avoid making lights too bright, as this will create pure white areas with no details. It is best to place a few different point lights and vary their color a bit, so objects get a sense of depth. Now add a spotlight to the scene and play with its direction. Here position and rotation play an important role. The spotlight is projected in a cone shape. Adjust the spot angle either in the inspector or by dragging the yellow handles in the scene view. The third type is a directional light. Its position is not important, as this light will not attenuate over distance and all light is emitted in a single direction. However, to better see the effect of the directional light, we will disable the other light sources. There is also an area light, but it does not work in real time and requires a pro license. It is used for light mapping, which will be discussed later on. It is best to apply the directional light as your first main light source, usually being the sun. This defines the exterior light. Also set its render mode to important so it takes priority over other light sources. You can then apply other light sources to even out lighting and brighten up interiors and all areas that are too dark and flat. Since real-time lighting takes quite a toll on performance, focus on the main light sources first. In this video lesson we introduce lighting in Unity. They are easily placed, but it is very difficult to get a convincing and varied lighting scheme, especially in architectural interiors. Exteriors are a bit easier, so in the next video we will focus first on creating a sun.